Hey, what's up? It's Sugar from Sound Candy Studio. Uh, today, I'm going to take a look at Real Boss 4 by Tone Boosters. Welcome back. Right, so I am taking a look at Real Bus. It's by a company called Tone Boosters. Uh, now, this was a, a kind of plugin that I slept on for a while. Uh, we're on version 4.3.0, and this is the first time I'm actually getting the plugin to have a look at it. And whilst I may have turned up late to the party, the party's in full swing, and all the cool kids are turned up, and the drinks are still here. So I might be late, but I've realized that this is the best time to turn up. This is version 4.3.0, and I think that this is a much more important improved version because I've heard the other one although I didn't have it but I have heard it uh, and I do like version 4 uh, I like it a lot uh, and I say that a lot on this channel but I do really like these stuff because I have to pay for it uh, except for the ones that are given to me I have to pay for most of the software that I review uh, so when I've purchased it and it's only in the US it's well in the euro it's 39 euros so it's, it can't even be much in, in, in uh, US dollars uh, but let's take a look at it so on the it's a tape simulator as I said so there's not huge amount to uh, to talk about in terms of UI. However, as you flick through some of the presets, you will see that the UI gets a slightly bit complicated, but not too complicated that a novice wouldn't find it. it it's not overwhelming, should I say. Uh, so we'll flick through some of the UI. We'll have a look at some of the basics. You have Obviously, you have your VU meters, you have your in and your out. I've currently put this on my master bus. Uh, on the default, you have 15 IPS, and then we have the tape stop, and then you have the tape start, and then you have the amount, and then you have the out. And as you flick through some of them, you will see makeup gain, uh, you know, saturation, hiss, wear, wham, and flutter. You see the normal things on the tape. You'll see those there. So I probably don't have to explain too much there. But it, this one, this compact cassette, you can. As soon as I flicked, <laughs> as soon as I flicked it on, you can hear the amount of hiss in the background. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the default. We're going to hear what it sounds like on the track, and tell me whether you like it or not. Uh, however, one of the things I did think that they did very, very well is they put this. Uh, this item here. This item is the color of the interface and they must think it's uh, an important feature because it's not hidden under the settings or the additional features. It's right up front. So let's quickly flick through and see what we have here. I personally like the one I was on. I quite like that one. Uh, but there are a few, there are a few color schemes. Uh, and I think that's very, very well done. As, I mean, we'll, I don't know, we'll leave it. I like the dark ones personally. So let's just flick through. Uh, yeah, get back to the dark one. And you know, I've got this pet hate that I hate when when uh, these plugins are not scalable. This one definitely is scalable. It's scalable, scalable from the corner. You can pull the corner out and proportionately scale it. Or you can just type in, you can just select one of these options. So we'll, we'll keep it on, I don't know, 150 or so. We'll keep it there. Uh, so in, enough talking from me. I'm going to play some music, flick through this thing. Play with a few, a few, a few of the buttons and see what it sounds like. Uh, I do like it. I like it a lot, uh, and for the price, I think it's not bad. I've had lots of comments recently where people are asking me to do head-to-heads, and I probably will. Sometimes I don't think it's necessarily fair, but you know, probably I probably will. We'll pick something and we'll do a head to it because I, I do have lots of different things, lots of compressors, EQs, all the rest of it. And um, enough talking for me. Let me just uh, go ahead and play this thing, and we'll flick through and see what it sounds. Grab headphones, turn up your studio monitors, let's get going. Thank you. 
Uh, now, I should have explained this particular one. This is, an e, this is an EQ. We haven't even got to the flange yet, but this is an EQ. So that we've got flanges, we've got echoes, and we have EQs. But this, this is quite nice. I do like this, and I also haven't done the tape stop yet, so we'll do that as well. <laughs> I, I, you know, well, if you've seen some of my videos before, you know I love playing with stuff. Uh, the thing I do like about this particular plugin is it loves when you push it. So let's push the record level and it gets nice and warm and round. I, I do love this. Let's hear it. Oh, actually, we need to start it again. <laughs> You get that nice, warm, saturated sound when you push it. It seems it seems at its best when it's being pushed. But certainly, the uh, as a tape simulator, I think adding the the flanger and the delay and the echo maybe a little bit much, but I do like it. I think it's it's a great plugin. If you stick it on your master bus, you can have a huge amount of fun. And as I said, let's push it a little bit more. We're on 11.2 uh, dB, so let's push it a little bit more, see where we can push it. But the other thing I like as well is that it doesn't really clip your master bus. Uh, it has there, but <laughs> I say that. But it, it's it's a really nice, warm sound. <laughs> Let's back it off a little bit. Let's go up again. Somewhere around the 7 dB is really nice for me. It feels, I've got my headphones on and it feels really nice and warm and smooth. I get that fuzzy feeling about it. Let's just back it off a tiny bit and let's just add some bias. Uh, now let's just let's, let's crank the noise up. Let's go to about let's let's do eighty percent of the noise. Let's do it there. Uh, 
Uh, so if you haven't seen this, there's a, there's an iOS app for this. Uh, so if you're on, uh, if you if you go onto the Apple website, you can get the iOS app for this. I'm not sure if there's a an Android app for it, but I definitely know there's an iOS app. Actually, while I'm here, let me just turn down the noise a bit because I can hear that in my headphones. Uh, it's 39 euros, and I'm not sure what that is in dollars. But there's a VST app, there's a VST3, there's an AAA, there's an AAX app, and there's obviously an AU app for this as well. But I really Really do like this. Uh, it's tape simulations go. I think this is more at the fun end. If I'm using this, I'll probably put it on the master bus. I would crank it up. I'll crank the record level up, and I'd have some that nice warmth on it. Uh, but certainly check this out. I will leave the links for in the description where you can find this. Uh, it's 39 euros, as I've said. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a demo. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a demo whatsoever. But it can handle uh, in, if you're doing some immersive uh, sort of uh, production. It can handle up to it can handle 5.1 and 7.1. So if you're doing some immersive stuff, this can certainly handle it for you. And I do like it. Um, so give it a listen. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, and please leave a thumbs up or leave a comment. Even a good or a bad comment, I don't mind. Just leave a comment, I guess. It's a community, so say what you want to say. Uh, that's it for me today. I will see you again uh, this week. <laughs> Definitely, I'll try again this week, given that we're all locked down. So I may as well make some uh, YouTube stuff. Uh, so that's it for me. Take care for now. Goodbye. Goodbye.